Welcome to the Daily Challenge for September 21st, 2014. Let's begin.
God damn it, fuck! I don't even know what just happened there, what? What the hell did that trap do to me? I just needed to attack up once. I, I tried to hit the wall. I wish I could slow it down. I tried to hit the wall, took one, took one and a half hearts of damage. I think, uh, I don't know. <laughs> that was a, a weird and kind of fun clusterfuck, so... Um, I think there's two major interesting things that happened there. Let's, uh, see how I did. Yeah, not exactly amazing. So, a couple interesting things happened there. Um, it's been a couple days since I've played. As I'm sure you probably noticed, I haven't had a daily challenge in a couple days, so I'm a little bit rusty, and I did not practice at all before doing this. I didn't go into hardcore mode like I normally do for a little bit. Just wanted to go in fresh, and... Well, um, I definitely felt a bit rusty. No doubt about that. But two interesting things happened within the level. It's kind of experimenting a bit. Uh, one is that I actually bought a weapon, which I almost... Actually, I don't think I've ever done that. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've never bought a weapon. But I was just thinking, eh, you know, it's only a hundred. It's a reasonable price. And the spear is pretty much my favorite basic weapon. Thanks to the reach. I figured I'd probably live long enough to get my money's worth out of it. You know, as long as it allows you to live longer, uh, long enough to make back the 100 gold you put into it, then why not? Of course, it's a risk, because you might find a really good weapon 10 seconds later, but uh, it was a risk I was willing to take, and I'm still happy about that. In fact, I think I might just do that in the future. Although, I'm going to have to make sure that I check the level fairly thoroughly before I buy it, because I don't want to waste the money if there is a good weapon there. But, uh... Yeah, I think that paid off pretty well. And the other inter interesting thing that happened was the shrine that I touched. The Shrine of Risk, which kind of spits out a bunch of interesting items, including a bunch of food, when you touch it. However, the downside to it is that if, uh, when you go to a new level, if you don't start moving on the very first beat, you take damage. Unfortunately, I kept forgetting about that fact, so every single time I transitioned, I took damage, but... Thankfully, it gave me so much food, I just kept healing back up. But yeah, that is one of the three shrines that I'm actually willing to touch. There's uh, the Shrine of Risk. There's one that I believe gives you access to, like, a pickaxe. 
And the only thing it actually does is it adds one more room per level, which I don't think is a big deal. If anything, it's a good thing, because it means you have more stuff to kill, which means more gold. And, uh, what's the other one? Oh, the other one is the Shrine of Sacrifice. The one where you have to kill enemies right next to it. And if you power it up to a certain amount, it'll give you stuff. But that was the first time I've actually ever touched that shrine while on a daily challenge. It was interesting. It actually wasn't too bad. Especially especially with how much food it gives me, it, it was really easy to heal up. From all the times that I accidentally missed the beat. So yeah, I give that shrine 10 out of 10, would touch again. Alright, that has been the daily challenge for September 21st, 2014. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.